Hey there everybody, I am doing the Take 5 Art Challenge today for the month of October. This is a challenge that I was introduced to by the marvelous Lee Ann over at Creatively Free To Be Me. I will leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description box below because she has links to all of the fabulous ladies who come up with the prompts every month to do the Take 5 Art Challenge. So instead of me like putting all that information in the description box below, I'm just going to point you to Lee Ann's channel. Uh, our prompts this month are watercolor, stamping, galaxy, sparkle, and stickers. Now the first things, watercolor, stamping, galaxy, sparkle, was like, okay, I, I can see all that happening together. And then, you know, it was like, stickers? <laughs> what? Um, so I thought, well, I'll just pull out a couple of sticker packs. This is an ideology Tim Holtz sticker pack. And you know, when if you're ever in doubt, there's usually a word in here that really does tie your piece together. I also chose a few of these um, these small sticker uh, planner sticker little words here. I'm not going to use this. Uh, I've got my watercolor here. This is a shimmer watercolor set by Yasutomo. I'll see if I can find this on Amazon and link it in the description box below. I love this. Someone gave it to me and I just, it's like that absolute perfect pop of shimmer. Okay, so watercolor, stickers, stamping. The stamp that I'm going to try to use is just a texture stamp, and I've put it on an acrylic block. I'm using a Memories uh, dye ink pad in a midnight blue because, frankly, I don't have a black ink pad, and you know how I am. It's always use what you got. So that takes care of our stamping galaxy. And sparkle are, this is sparkle, but it's also watercolor. And I'm going to use a set of these. These are, these are so cool. My friend Miss S sent these and they're called Spectrum, Spectrum Noir Sparkle. Um, these are fairly new brushes. I know that you have to kind of shake them. Oh, good. Okay, so this one has been used, so I should, uh, the, the shape shaking should be to a minimum on this one right here. But some of them were new as I was fiddling around with them this morning. But very, very, uh, like I said, this is another sparkle element right here. Let's get started on the old galaxy thing. I have never done any sort of galaxy painting, so we'll just see what what happens here. I have a bit of 98 pound mixed media paper that I'm going to use. I may just do a big galaxy here and then cut these out into art trading coins. I'm just not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. But that's half the fun of the Take 5 Art Challenge, isn't it? Because you're just kind of like, well, we'll just see what happens. And that's, you know, exactly what we're going to do. We're going to see what happens. I also don't really want to make this too wet because I don't like dragging out the old heat tool. I love the heat tool, but not when I'm when I'm recording. I also don't have a lot of time, so I'm looking. It's three o'clock now. I hope to be finished with this by three twenty, something like that. Yeah, let's just put more pressure on yourself, <laughs> as if you don't have enough. <laughs> I'm kidding y'all. Um, I've got a big fat brush. I love this brush. It's a one and a half inch brush. You can see that I've kind of lost part of it, but this is my big glue brush. And I just thought, you know, if I'm doing a galaxy, I don't want to get too fiddly with it. So I'm just going to uh, swatch out, you know, kind of big-ish uh, portions of color. And, you know, I mean, we'll see. We'll just see what happens y'all. And like I said, this, this paint is all shimmery too, and it's really, really nice. 
I'll have to see if I can get another one. Now, to me, this is kind of not looking so galaxy, but more like, um, so let's change our, change our colors here. There we go. It's kind of looking more like a landscape, you know, a sunrise or a sunset, right? So we'll just see what happens here. It's kind of fun just to paint like this. I'm, I'm going to move this off to the side. Let me just do that. Mm. Here, oh, okay. So, you know, this is kind of starting to look a little more galaxy-ish because we're utilizing our charcoal gray. I maybe should have looked at a how to do a galaxy painting before I started this, but oh well. Sometimes that kind of ruins the fun of it, doesn't it? I do like the tap technique. I think that's working better than just kind of the smear it on kind of thing. And I want to use these other these other markers as well. One of my favorite things when I was a child was to go to the planetarium, uh, you know, either with school, well, usually it was with school, until I had kids of my own. I grew up in a time where, you know, you're, you're, and my sister and I talk about that often. I mean, your mom and dad just didn't, like, take you places, you know? That's just not what you did, man. When I was growing up, you know, mom and dad were working. I mean, you know, you just didn't, didn't, like, go to places. So that's why it was super fun, you know, to go with your school. But I love to go to the planetarium. And our closest planetarium was in... Um, Gastonia at Shiel Museum, Shiel Museum Plantation, and I believe kids even now are going to visit the Shiel Museum Plantation. Okay, this is kind of starting to look galaxy-ish. Not bad. The tapping thing is probably driving y'all crazy because it's bouncing my gooseneck phone holder. Sorry about that. I'm also not being really, I am not fussed about my watercolors, like keeping them separate. Sorry. Basically, I just don't paint enough to A, know what I'm doing, <laughs> or B, how to do it. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> it is kind of looking cool, though, right? And it is kind of wet, so I may, have to, I may have to dry it. I did want to cover the whole paper, though, because my idea is kind of to maybe use this as, um, maybe, like I said, make art trading coins, and then that way I can... Um, I can do them for my patrons over at Patreon. If you guys are interested in my Patreon, at the $10 level, you guys get a mailer each month. And that will have all kinds of cool things for you to play with in it. Patreon is one of those things that really... It's just so super nice to have as we are going into the season of, um, you know, everything slows down for us, for Chris too, even though he's had car job after car job after car job lately. Um, in the, in the winter, people just don't drive their, their Z cars very much because of all the salt and stuff on the road. So you don't want that. 
messing up your car. Okay. I'm kind of seeing that working. Kind of cool. Um, it's super wet. So I am going to get out. I am going to get out my, um, my heat tool. Even though I don't want to, we'll just get it out. And if I try and stop this video, then I'm never assured that my video will pick up where I paused it. So we'll just have to sit here and meditate through the drawing of my semi-galaxy that I have going on here. Just plugging this in. Not so bad. I do like the shimmer paint. It's very subtle. You know, you don't get, like, really vibrant colors in this shimmer paint. It's a pastel shimmer. Okay, let's see what happens with some of these uh, Spectrum Noir Sparkle brushes. Man, that's pretty. And I'm supposed to shake it a bit. So let's shake it. And then let's start here. See, that's very vibrant. They are really pretty. Yeah, um, you can use these for lettering. Hmm. It was kind of cool that I, the, the paper didn't draw all the way. A little bit of uh, hmm, these are neat. I um, let's go with this is a blue topaz. I'm just gonna okay, so this one just needs a shake. I'll put a link in the description box below for these two. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's really pretty. It's 
So I'm starting to see like galaxy-ish things happening. Which is kind of cool. Okay, let's try. Um, let's try. This is rose quartz. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, that one has not been open. Let's see what this one is. Okay, this is peony. So this is going to give us some pink. Oh, it's kind of a brownish, but that's okay. I'm still thinking I'm, I'm kind of like not getting so much galaxy, but more of a... Um, more of a sunset sunrise kind of thing and it's probably because I'm going horizontally instead of vertically. Okay. Let's look at this is aquamarine. It has not been used, so don't want to use that quite yet. This is solar red. Let's do that. Uh-oh, I got solar red on my hands. Oh well. This looks like I looks like I throttled somebody. <laughs> Mm, that's a really pretty color. Okay. I kind of like the blue, you know, the way the blue turned out down here. Let's see what else. We've got an aquamarine. Whoops. Oh, this is pretty. This is a peacock blue. Hey, yeah. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, since I got color, color, color here, is give it a spray and a draw. Oh. Well, that was a nice discovery. Finger painting. Okay, there we go. Now we got like blending going on here. And we have color. Oh, that's fun, y'all. Okay, that's looking better. This was a hard one, y'all. You know, sometimes those tape fobs are, you know, they're like, woohoo, this is going to be simple. This one's hard, but that's good because that's a challenge, right? I think what I want to do is, one thing I get to get all the stuff off my fingers, is take, um... You know, if I had a cotton ball, I would do a cotton ball. But the only thing that I have here are some Pond's cleansing makeup little things that I've never used before. So let's just take, I don't know if we can take a little bit of color off. Oh, okay, we can. Okay. All right, I'm going to try, and then we'll see what we have.
Now let's, oh my gosh, my hands are a wreck. Let's go ahead and do, <laughs> okay, so we've done Sparkle, we've done Galaxy, we've done, we need to do, we've done Watercolor, we need to do Stamping, and we need to do the stickers. So let's, um, I want to cut them out. I want to use my one, two and a half inch circle punch and I'm going to cut these out over here so we won't be disturbing everybody by shaking everything all around. And I do believe that my circle punch has stopped working. Oh, man. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Okay, we'll see how it works out. It's not letting go of the paper. Yep, it stopped working. Jeez, guys, these recollection stampers are just, they're just not good. I'm never going to buy another product from Recollections. It just, look, I mean, this is what happens, and it happens all the time. And there's no way to, I mean, the the um, the actual thing has stopped working. So, let's, <laughs> let's go to some other way to do this. Let's get, I'm going to get my Sharpie. And I'm going to use the one that sort of semi-cut. And we'll just trace around that. And let's just do a couple since we are running out of time. Because our punch stopped working. There we go. paper is still a wee bit damp, but not too bad. And I do like the way it turns out because it kind of looks like you're looking at a planet. You know, they really look more planetoid than galaxy-ish, which is super cool. Ooh, I want one more. Let's do one more. Let's do right here. Okay. They really are pretty. And I think what would be fun to do is go ahead and ink the edges. I mean, I realize that we have a bit of a border that we created with the um, with the Sharpie, but let's just see what that looks like. If we ink the edges with this Midnight Blue. And like I said, the paper is still still just like a wee bit damp. But that'll maybe give it some of that, you know, we see that black in the galaxy. Can you see that blackness? So we can kind of use that, you know, to kind of shade, right? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. All right. Now, even though technically I uh, used a stamp pad, I don't think that's going to qualify for the 
stamping thing, uh, the stamping prompt. So we're going to grab our little texture stamp that I put on our acrylic block. And then let's just see what happens. Okay. It's not bad. I think it's better when it's not quite so evident, right? You know, it's kind of a use as a background shadowy kind of thing. All right, I think I want to, I want to put some stars on here. So I have some Craft Smart white paint. And I'm going to try to just kind of do that flicking thing. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It may not work at all. How do you do this? Oh. Oh, it does work. Okay. So we got some star action going on. I've never done that before. How fun. And maybe this planet has snow-capped mountains right there. Like I said, mine are turning out more like planets than galaxies. Huh? <laughs> it's my, my hands. <laughs> yeah. I'm having all kinds of fun. Okay, that's cool. All right. That's, oh my gosh, it's so dirty. Don't care. Um, I don't know where I put my, oh, there it is. Washcloth here. Okay. So there we go. That's kind of what we have going on here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Still think we need black. I think. I don't have black over here, but I do have purple. Um, but I have. I have black paint. India ink. I do have, I have that. I have some India ink. Um, but you know what? I don't have any black, like acrylic paint. So we just won't go with the black. We will go. I do have some gray. Might work. All right, it's three twenty five. Now, I'll tell you about this India ink. This is India ink from Chris's apartment twenty five years ago. <laughs> no kidding. He was a draftsman and he did, he did computer automated drafting, but he also did um, physical drafting. And I think that we have the element that we were looking for. It's 
still kind of looks like more of a landscape but honestly I'm really happy with it I think it's very pretty and oddly using the India ink even the stars are still maintaining their whiteness you know what I mean Isn't that funny? Who would have thought that 25 years ago when I picked up that India ink when he gave it to me that I would still be with that guy 25 years later. I think I'm going to get a little emotional. <laughs> Isn't that something? It says a lot about uh, perseverance and hanging with and the amazing long life of India Inc., doesn't it? Wow. Okay. I'm really, really liking these a lot. Um, it gets everywhere now here's the tricky part I'm supposed to use stickers and I am just not feeling it we'll we'll try it okay we'll just okay so this one says look outward and upward <laughs> 